Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and in the last episode, we found out that we got to partake in another rule of three, as we uh, need to find three parts of a riddle, in, or not, three parts of a rhyme, in order to uh, break the spell that is at the door for Baron Von Gooley. And so in trying to find that, uh, that piece, we are at the Dunn Fiddlin Cottage home, and we have been given the super soaker filled with holy water. Which is going to work out great because the fact right now we are fighting against a lot of undead creatures such as zombies. And you'll probably notice up top you may have seen something moving. Well, uh, we'll find out what that is in just a moment. And right now I'm looking around trying to see if I can maybe find the tome. And uh, I, I actually missed where the tome is located. But I'll explain that to you in just, uh, just a few minutes. I'm going to wait till we get our brand new enemy before we go into that. But as you can see, the... Holy water works great on the undead zombies, or the undead zombies, on the zombies and the zombie pirates. So you, I, I'm not really having any problems moving through this area, but the only bad part is that maybe if you're not paying attention, you can uh, be surrounded by some of the enemies, or maybe you might accidentally grab one of the bad soup cans. But really and truly, you shouldn't have a whole lot of issues here. And for some reason, every time I use that weapon, Cooper wanted to swing shortly after the fact, but anyway... Again, just kind of looking around for a moment to seeing if I can find the, the tome somewhere around there. But as you can see, it's really easy to make it through this area. Even when the enemies jump out in front of you, they're not really going to do any damage at the beginning. And as you can see, I've got more than enough uh, ammunition in my cannon in order to defeat those three items, uh, those three enemies which jumped out in front of me. But you'll notice up the hill, we have a, uh, it looks like a brand new enemy. It looks like a walking coffin. It's a vampire! Now, vampires, as you're about to see, are not harmed... <laughs> are not harmed uh, by the holy water. There's a different weapon you have to use to kill them. And as you see their attack, they attack by swinging the door to their coffin open. And as long as that coffin door is open, they are virtually indestructible. So they have to open the door, and you have to attack then, and you can't attack with the holy water. And she's chasing me down right now. She wants a piece of me. But you can easily outrun these guys. They're not a problem. We're about to have the weapon that, is, that will defeat them. And if you want to get the rare tome, as we'll discover a little bit later on in one of the upcoming videos, you have to... No, no, I will not do that. Anyway, he takes the water squirter away from us. So we can go into the greenhouse, because we're really not going to need it. Instead, he's going to give us Edna, the garlic launcher. What you want to do is you want to take Edna, and you want to kill these two zombies. Uh, sorry, you kill these two vampires, and that's how you get the rare tome. So, uh, it was my mistake. I had forgotten about that, but anyway, I'm going to make that up in just a little bit. So we move from the Dunfiddlin Cottage home, and now we bring ourselves to the greenhouse. So, the greenhouse really and truly isn't all that hard from the beginning. You want to go ahead and reveal the freeze the enemies can. You have 12 shots. You can't damage the home. And you've got to find the key on an enemy. Great. I am so glad that that's the challenge that they give us at this point. Uh, the way to beat the vampires, as you'll see, you just kind of jump back the moment she pops the door open. Give yourself uh, plenty of room. And they're quite easy to defeat. But you're going to have the vampires, you're going to have vampire chickens. Not all that hard. And you'll notice these guys are hiding right in there. Uh, but it's not too hard to get the buttons pressed in time. Grab the 10, uh, the 10 extra health. You're going to need it. I've only got 7 moves left and I have to find an enemy. Ah! Being the fact there aren't many enemies in this area, it's not all that hard in order to do uh, this challenge. I think the worst part of it is trying to not destroy anything in the area. As you see, there's a vampire still alive, and I quite easily uh, beat this challenge. And right there we see the rare tome. Go ahead and grab that as I am chased by a vampire. But there's really no point in finding it right now. It's not like there's another challenge or there's no real reason to kill it. I can easily outrun it. And so that brings us into the next room. Now, there's something I want all of us to pay attention about this room. Something we really need to see because as we look around, 
notice something. It's, uh, the potting room, but there's nothing in here. There are no enemies. And Crivens points out it's there for the taking, but, you know, 30% health, that's not that bad, but, uh, there's something about this room. Notice when I break that open, it gives us some, uh, time-oriented, uh, soup cans. It gives me some health. And really and truly, right now, I'm looking for the rare tome, hoping that maybe it's in one of these pots. Spoiler alert, it's not. And there's a ghost that tries to frighten me. Kind of helpful to get that out of the way now, because there are no enemies that can hurt me at this point, so not a whole lot to worry about in, in, this, in this zone. Uh, again, there's some things that are very helpful there, and so... Uh, kind of just find the rare tome right there. And uh, Cooper's thinking what we should be thinking right now. It's there for the taking, and as he mentioned, something bad happens. Now, this challenge is one of the more difficult ones. You have to kill six enemies of any breed. But, well, <laughs> Baron Von Gool is angry because of the fact that uh, Dunfillin has been helping us out. But, I have to kill six creatures, but the X, as we remember, means that uh, I can't kill the same enemies. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to go ahead and do some damage and kill these, uh, these skeletons while I still can. And so now that I've killed a skeleton, I now kill a chicken. And now that I've killed a chicken, I can turn around and I can kill a skeleton. But now I can't kill a skeleton, but thankfully there's a chicken right there. So it's down that I've got two enemies left. That's dead. And now I want to try my best to take out a vampire. They're kind of hard to defeat just the way they're set up. Because you, you want to get them to open the door. But none of them will open the doors when I'm there close to them. So it kind of makes it more difficult than it should be. So I just got, you know... I, I'm just going ahead and just kill this zombie. I mean, a skeleton. And so the Grim Reaper appears. And really and truly, all we need to do at this point is we need to get out of this room. That's all we've got to do. And no, Dunfiddlin, I will not pluck your pickle. The more and more I read these, the more and more I'm starting to think that he's getting a bit sexual with us. But he realizes he's in trouble and thinks, Hey, maybe I can move in with uh, Babbage Buff Brass. Alright, so Dunfiddlin realizes the trouble that he's in, and uh, he's hoping to make a pass at one of the few females that is here in the cottage. And so he wants to take Edna back, because he thinks if he has Edna, there's less of a mess. Oh wow, she ever be buffing? Ooh. Wow. And so Baron Von Gool tells us the fact that it's just the warm-up act that we now have to fight against the hunchback. But guess what? We've got vampires that we've got to fight against, and that killed the vampire, but that didn't kill us. So I get trapped again, and that's one of the attacks they're going to do. Again, that killed the vampire, but that didn't kill us. So I'm looking out for the moment because of the fact death has not been able to take me out. I'm running to save my life right now, and there's the hunchback, and now I die. And you see his attack, you attack him from behind while he's crunched over. But what we're going to do is we're going to join back whenever I uh, get close to the end of this. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are again being attacked by uh, the Hunchback. And uh, I just lucked out far more than I figured I would luck out there. As soon as he spawns in, the Grim Reaper kills him. I survive. And so I'm good and happy at this point. So uh, I'm able to leave this room, and that brings us back to the greenhouse. And uh, here at the greenhouse, there's another challenge that I'm going to have to face here in just a moment. The door opens wide. We have the first piece of the rhyme, and so now we have to make our way to the stables. We're going to be somewhat familiar with that area. We've been there before already. But now we're fading against ninja imps, and... These guys are going to be a cake. 
compared to the challenge that you just faced right now, all you gotta do is get yourself out of here. And, you know, in the process, you want to be kind of mindful because there is a rare tome lying around here somewhere. And it's good just to take a few moments to walk around and see if you can find it because, you know, uh, again, you're just fighting against ninja imps. They may be doing a slight number of my health at the moment, but I want to have plenty of opportunities to get that health back here in just a second. So, yeah, they're attacking me right now, but, you know... the. They're more than enough to, uh, they're easy enough to fight against and, uh, walk over here and bust open that and don't really get what I'm looking for at the moment, although I could have gotten, I really should go back and get the, uh, health, but I didn't. I mean, not the health, but the, uh, freeze. But I'm going for the energy boost, you know, just a little bit of energy and more ninja imps bust in. But I go for this middle one, and I get grabbed again. You notice there's a little bit of laughter that occurs with it. And so that'll tell you when you're near one of those creatures that's going to grab you. And so I make the decision now that it's a great idea to uh, grab the freeze can. And... Listen, do, do you hear that sound? It's the sound of no ninja imps making those little weird sounds. Yeah, I can't bust that open to get through the area. You know, you'd think you could just walk through vegetables, but, you know, go figure. But, uh, I did, did well enough to just kind of freeze them still. And even when they go to attack, they freeze themselves in the air to do that one major attack. And that gives you plenty of opportunity to, uh, to, to, to do damage to them. So, again, you know, this really isn't the, war the room to worry about. I could run out of it just real quick if I want to. But one of the reasons why I am fighting against these little guys is I'm looking for the rare tome to grab it so I can just make it out of the room and be done with it. So there's really not a whole lot to say here other than the fact that I'm kind of just wandering around and looking to find my way through here. Um, I can say that, uh, we got the rare tome right there in that pile of rocks, and, uh, wanting to just speed my way out of this room, and we can be done and heading our way to the stables, and I don't know why I'm making that more difficult to get out, but at least now we're leaving. And that's going to bring us back to the Dunfiddlin' Cottage area.